Hi guys, it is uh, Tuesday and it is 8.33. I'm filming late today. Uh, it's been an interesting day for me. Um, so first of all, like I said, I have my store's inventory this morning, which went really well. I'm actually really happy with the way the process went. And then now, uh, tomorrow and like the following days, there's stuff that goes along with that. Which is going to be kind of interesting because I am in charge of the store for a couple of weeks. Uh, like, you know, fully in charge. So, that's going to be interesting to be able to do. Um, it's kind of dark. Uh, I'm in my car. Uh, it's just easier for me to film in my car rather than in my room. I don't know, distractions and things like that. So, that went well. Things happened to me today that kind of like mentally messed me up for the rest of the day and then still right now um, things I'm wanting to talk about in this video to sort of get it out there and help me um, in the future because future me is watching these videos um, and then the very few dedicated friends and other people that watch these that I appreciate that's that's cool so um, so I got home and I t took a nap at 2 and I was like, okay, I'll wake up at 4. And then at 4 o'clock, I'm like, fuck my life. And then I went back to bed until 6. And I'm like, fuck my life again. And then I went, and I woke up at 8. And I'm like, okay, I gotta film something for today. So filming these forced me to wake up. Forced me to get out. And so that's a plus. Because uh, I was like, ah, uh, I gotta do something. So, I was like, what's going to make me feel better? And then, so I went to Sonic and got, like, a, uh, a medium ice cream cone. This is bigger than my head, and I bought it. I'm like, that's going to make me ice cream. Did I say ice cream cone? Just ice cream. Uh, that's going to make me feel better. There, there's a friend that, uh, her and I used to get Sonic, and I don't know why I was thinking about it, and then I just figured it'd make me feel better. It kind of is kind of it's eating ice cream so the only light I have is from my dash <laughs> uh, so today sparked some sort of issues uh, with me mentally I go through these phases uh, it's probably why it was suggested to me that I need some sort of antidepressant in my life because um, I go through these little spurts uh, so today something happened uh, mentally, just little things that happened that uh, I'm not going to give any details um, to, I'm going to be sort of vague, but it happens and so I tried this new thing where I'm, I don't know where I saw this, I don't know if someone gave me this advice or if I saw it on some sort of something like a movie or TV show, but uh, it said, you can decide what bothers you and what doesn't. Like, in your head, you can decide that. And then hopefully it makes you feel better. Because something that would normally make you upset or make you sad or whatever, you can decide for that not to. Okay, so I tried that. Um, I tried that for certain things. Like, in the workplace, it works. Like, normally, like, something that would make me irritate or whatever. Um, you know, I'm like, you know what? Just... Don't let it bother you. You can decide that. And it works. Other things, no, it doesn't work. At least not for me, not right now. So I tried that and it didn't work. And it was just, it was like a conversation and like the realization and some stuff that I'm doing um, right now that I'm like, uh, <laughs> there's like no context here. I'm sorry. Um, but it's just been bothering me, I guess. So the whole theme of this week or whatever right now is sort of like taking risks and if it's worth it. So I'm trying to decide on if these risks I'm taking, and by risks I mean like there's consequence. Uh, nothing bad, nothing illegal, just, you know, because everything has a consequence. And so I'm starting to think that maybe this risk isn't really worth it anymore. That maybe I should bury the rose, sort of a thing. Uh, but then there's a side of me that I'm like, ah, just keep going. And so that's where I'm at, and it just mentally kills me. Um, things like that. 
sorry, I'm just checking to see if um, somebody's going to be getting home. They're going to be wondering why I'm in my car. Oh, no, that's a neighbor. So that's just been messing with me lately, and it's just, it always does, because I get mentally involved, me mentally and emotionally involved, too quickly on something, then it just backfires, and it's just, it's who I am, that's me. So, I'm kind of dealing with that right now. Uh, and so without getting into details, how am I going to get better? So, I guess there's a few options. I can bitch on here. That's option one. I'm exercising option one. And eat ice cream. Uh, I was either, I was going to eat ice cream or get drunk. And I have to get up at 4 a.m. tomorrow, so I'm not going to get drunk. Uh, at least I didn't drink a lot. Um, so where was I going with that? It's just, I don't know. I It just pisses me off how I get in these moods all the time. I don't know if it is the fact that I slept for six hours and, like, woke up every hour and that could really mess with you in your head. It can cause, like, an imbalance, which I'm going through right now, on top of what I'm going through during the, or what I went through today. And it's just pisses me off. I don't know. It's it's a lot. And it, it got me in a mood where, like, I've had friends that have tried calling me today that I've just ignored. Um, so I'm sorry. I just, I'm not in the mood to talk today because I'm just, uh, I'm a fucking mope. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I think I'll get over it. I think the point of me wanting to document this is not not to solve it through recording, but to sort of look back and I think it's going to be fun to watch this video in particular to know how some stuff played out. Um, doesn't matter if it's like a year or two years from now, it'd be fun to watch this video and be like, okay, that's how that played out. That's how that risk worked or didn't work or totally messed up your life or totally helped it out. I don't know. I'm acting like this risk is, or like what's going on is like total life or death, but it's really not. Uh, if you're really interested, you can ask me and I'll tell you, but I just don't want to talk about it on camera, just in case if um, certain people watch this, uh, just to sort of protect, and I don't know. God, that makes it sound very important. It's really not. It's really not. It's just something stupid. Um, like I said, something stupid that bothers me, and it's funny because sometimes things will bother me, and I'll forget about them, but I'll still feel that emotion of being bothered, and I'll be like, what's bothering me? And then I'll remember, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's, uh, that's just who I am. What am I? I'm eight minutes in of this rant video, so this video is probably very boring to watch, but it's very therapeutic for me. And it makes me think, like, should I be on antidepressants or not? But I'll, I, there's a whole thing I want to do on that, and like a whole diary, diary, uh, uh, thing onto this. I don't want to call these videos, like, video diaries, but, <laughs> you know, like I said, I want to, like, talk about very emotional things, like, once a week. This doesn't count. This is just me trying to do a video for this week and kind of talking things out uh, with myself. So, anyways, I think that's where I'm going to lead off, leave off today. I'm just not feeling it right now. I'm not feeling anything. I have, I think what's wrong is that I have just nothing to do. So I overwork myself, and then which causes more stress, and uh, it's just, it's a lot. It's getting hard. It's getting difficult. Uh, I thought I was getting better. I thought, like, I was sort of getting out of this gray stage in my life, you know, going back down into, like, the pitfalls of depression, and I thought I was getting better, and then, you know, you have your dips, but I feel like this dip is just, it keeps going down. And it's not really, it's not going up right now. And I i don't know how to make it go up. I try to spend money on a Lego set to help me sort of like focus on that. But I am haven't even built the entire thing. And I'm trying to play video games to sort of help with that. And it's not. So I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. I'm like, oh God, is this going to turn into something else? Uh, I'm drinking a little bit more than I should right now just things like that so um hopefully it gets better we'll see tomorrow tomorrow i have some plans for videos and things like that so it should be fun uh but today it's just uh, you know 
<sighs> you guys, you know, you have these days. I have too many of these days, unfortunately. And we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. It's fun to talk about it. Um, to my future self, I know how I want it to go down. I know what I want to do. I just don't know if it's the right thing to do. Um, some decisions you make are good for the moment, good for tomorrow, but maybe they're not good for next year or, you know, in a year from now, you know, and all these different decisions. Um, so hopefully it works out. If not, you know, there's always tomorrow, right? So anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you watch this, uh, I know I have some really good friends that are watching those videos all the way through, and I really appreciate that. That's nice of you um, to sort of help me through this supportive journey of my life and sort of really figuring out, because I'm not, I'm not necessarily good at talking to people about this stuff, and I want to talk about that too on a different video. There's some videos, ideas I want to do. I want to talk about uh, how I'm not, I don't feel close to my family in these sort of situations or my friends. Um, just because of the whole thing that that's a video I want to do I want to talk about that so I'm gonna save that topic uh, for another day so anyways I'm gonna eat the rest of this ice cream and maybe force myself to build Lego or just go to bed I don't know how wise it would be for me to sleep six hours be up for two and then sleep like another uh, six hours but you know all right I'm gonna go